What happened to the first person you had first time with? Story 1. We had to run and grab plan B, then she ghosted me. A month or so later, I'm driving with a friend, and I get a text so I have my friend read it out, responsible driving and all. It's from the girl and says, Hey, sorry I haven't texted you in a bit. I've been in a mental institution for the last month after trying to <laughs> twice. Sorry. What a text. Story 2. High school sweethearts. She broke up with me after two years for a guy she met in class. They've been married for 20 plus years and have three kids. Best decision for both of us. Story 3. She ran away from home, shaved her head, came back, tried to <laughs> was committed for 45 days, was released to a group home, ran away from the group home, got caught at a trap house during a bust, sent back to group home, group home sent her to <laughs> tried to <laughs> and <laughs> recommitted for 45 days. Long story short, she's married to someone equally unstable. They have three children together that somehow have had to raise their parents. Story 4. What I know is that she died at age 29, on the same day as her infant daughter's funeral. I actually just found out more by re-googling. She, Susan, was about a month shy of 29. Her daughter was three, so older than I thought. It was a car accident. The baby died first. I had assumed Story 5. I married her. We've been together for 35 years now. Story 6. She died a couple years ago. Cancer. Story 7. No idea and don't want to know. Story 8. She has three kids from two guys and her Facebook updates are almost always pictures of her with a new boyfriend with captions saying she's so glad she finally found a real man. Comments are always, I'm so happy for you, girl. You deserve this. She's 34. Story 9. We broke up, I got to keep the kids, she got to keep acting like one. Story 10. We went our separate ways and reconnected 19 years later, getting married later this year. Edit. A little more for y'all, we dated for a few months in high school, ended things on good terms, neither one of us knew what we were doing. In 2018, I found a mixed seed she made me and hit her up to see how she was doing, honest check-in. And we just kept talk and fell in love. Second edit. I showed my partner the post and we are super grateful for all the love and support. Reading other people's similar stories in the comments has been a true joy this morning. Wish each and every one of you happy and healthy relationships in your life, romantic and otherwise. Story 11. We were 19. About a year later she made up a random excuse to break up with me so she could start dating some other guy without having to be honest about it. Common enough at that age of course, I'm not mad about it now although I sure as hell was confused at the time. She had an unusual name, so I just googled her thanks to this thread. I found her obituary. Apparently she died in a car accident in 2016 and was divorced with three kids. The obit mentions enough about her surviving relatives to tell me that yep, it was her. Story 12. She died in a car accident I had. I found out about it just over a month later when I woke up from a coma. Story 13. We broke up 10 years ago. Now he has a wife and two kids and is working his dream job. I am currently unemployed, single and heartbroken af, but sincerely happy for him, he deserves to be happy. Story 14. He's sitting next to me, we just finished watching our 14-year-old play through all of Resident Evil 4. Story 15. Her mom spoon fed her He ended up in and out of Last time I talked to her, she was working at GameStop and living on a friend's couch in Compton, but she was clean. She then shaved her head and deleted all of her social media and fell off the face of the earth. I hope she's okay. Story 16. He has a wife and three kids. He's a great dad and we're still friends 20 years later and I love his wife. He was my first kiss, first and first serious relationship. I'm thankful for him giving me very positive firsts. Story 17. It's been 20 years he lives with his mother, has a low-paying job, and regularly calls me every few months drunk to try and reminisce, even though I haven't seen him in person in over 15 years, and I have happily moved on. Locking him only puts the two inches closer to his mouth, so I wait for the call, talk for two minutes, and then move on with my day. Friends, before we continue our video, I want to remind you of the importance of subscribing to our channel. We are also waiting for your comments and likes. Thank you, let's move on to the video. Story 18. We got engaged, but I walked in on her in bed with someone else later that year. It wrecked me for the summer that was just beginning. But I grew a lot, and in a way I never felt so alive as I did during those horrible post-breakup months. The grief was truly like someone died. 
I'm now married and have a kid and a great job and couldn't be happier. Story 19. She's been married and divorced a couple of times and has four kids. Her oldest got a girl pregnant when he was like 14 and made her a grandmother at 35. She spent most of her adult life so far raising her kids and now grandkids alone. Kinda sad. Story 20. He married a really nice lady and had a couple lovely kids. Went to medical school, became an incredible doctor, and still can get it. That really nice lady is me, by the way. Story 21. Oh, this is the perfect question for me right now. So my ex who dumped me literally right after I was still naked, cause he wanted to go after another girl, tried to get back together with me after two years when I saw him at a grocery store. Just an hour ago, my buff, and I saw him at McDonald's taking our order. That was kind of funny to me since back then he used to make fun of me for having McDonald's as a first job and used to always put me down cause my family did not have a nice house like his. Now I own my own with my buff, and we're about to have a baby. Story 22. She became a Story 23. He came out of the closet, got married and adopted a child. When we first dated in 7th grade, his mom didn't like me so she transferred him to a Catholic high school. We secretly got back together in 10th grade and were together through our sophomore year of college. We broke up because it was too hard to see each other and communicate early 1980s, before cell phones were a thing. Somewhere in the 1990s he sent a Christmas card to my parents' home and we've been exchanging Christmas cards ever since. Story 24. It was with my first serious girlfriend in high school. She was so easy to be with and the whole experience was unforgettable. I think about it all the time to this day. We dated until we were into our 20s, but I think she got bored of being my girlfriend and wanted something more serious. Now she's my wife and we're coming up to our 18th year together. She's just as charming as the day I met her, never fails to make me laugh, and we always reminisce about those early fumblings. Story 25. Broke up with me said she wanted to be friends. We were friends on social media but didn't talk. After a few months I went on a trip with another girl. After the trip noticed I was blocked on everything. Mutual friends said I was supposed to reach out and not move on. Story 26. She graduated high school with top honors, married a guy who was student teaching at our high school, lits through undergrad degree, divorced guy number one. He and I became friends. Odd story how that happened. Married one of her professors a good 15 plus years her senior, who later was one of my profs, weird, went with him to a ritzy little private liberal arts college in the Northeast where he taught for a year while she earned a master's degree. Then they divorced and she went to law school at Vanderbilt and is married to Hubs number three. She was a stunner in high school, great hair, makeup, and fashion. You can see what was when looking at her 30 years later. We were best friends who dated and slept together and then we weren't together by graduation. Still have some mutual friends. She was a great friend and phenomenal first partner. Edit. Apologies for writing a Lifetime original movie. Story 27. We hooked up occasionally for the next few years here and there. Then we didn't see or hear about each other for almost 13 years. She had became a cop, I became a drug addict and a criminal. She quit being a cop around the time I got my act together. I was a few years clean when we ran into each other again. She had just got her master's in psychology. Fast forward a bit. We are engaged with our second kid on the way now. This is a good note to end on. Please rate your stories in the comments. I'll be happy to add them to future videos. Also, you can rate our other videos. We would be very grateful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.